Well, I'm coming to you with the shocking news from the Yellow Camp. Yes, it's really bad news from the NRM Camp and stand by for the details. In other news, brother Daudat Aliganira Wagwan. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what exactly is happening in brother Daudat Aliganira's camp, but it's not really good news right there. Well, in other news, Bobby Wine has responded to NBS TV journalists who reported false news about him. What has we responded to them and what did these guys say about Bobby Wine? I have all the details right here on the Buzz UG. Subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. We are talking about 11.3k subscribers and remember, our target is 20k subscribers for now. Ah, I don't know what haters you're gonna tell me. Man, we are growing every single day. And you guys who are subscribing to the Buzz UG, I really appreciate. Thank you so much. So guys, it's bad news from the NRM camp. Yes, it's really bad news from the NRM camp. Twitter has suspended Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's account over a pattern of behavior that violated the company rules. Now, this is the biggest punishment any major social media company has ever taken against a Ugandan top official. Yes, we have not had something like this before. However, Twitter did not reveal why Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba's account was banned. But of course, we all know sometimes Mohozi tweets recklessly and uh, that could be the reason why it was banned. Uh, no government official has talked about this yet, but hopefully they will do that today. Anyway, let's hope Twitter will be merciful and, you know, return his handle. Otherwise, this is really bad news for him. I mean, he had 543k followers and this is a platform he used to communicate to his followers. But of course, let's hope for the best. Yeah, so that is it from the Yellow Camp and I'll keep you posted. Well, in other news, reports in saturation indicates that the head teacher at St. Mary's College, Chisui, that is Brother Deodat Aliganira, has resigned. Yes, Brother Deodat Aliganira has resigned. Now, it's reported that Aliganira has decided to resign because of the too much pressure from the Catholic Church and some members of staff at St. Mary's College, Chisui. Uh, it should be remembered that last month, Fred Kajubi Lumbuye exposed this big man and the pictures were everywhere on different social media platforms. Uh, the photos showed Brother Deodat caught red-handed chewing fellow male teacher during his time as head teacher at St. Edwards in Kakumiro district. Unconfirmed reports also suggested that Aliganira had been arrested but Uganda police did not confirm as it was in saturation. However, other people came out and said it was Photoshop. But uh, of course, Fred Kajubi Lumbuya maintained that, you know, it was true. The big man was caught red-handed chewing fellow male teacher at St. Edwards in Kakumiro district. And right now, the latest news in circulation indicates that this big man has resigned as head teacher at St. Mary's College, Chisubi. I remember Fred Kajubi Lumbuye sometime back called upon the Catholic Church to punish this big man but he has decided to resign even before the Catholic Church announces their next move. Yes, yeah, so that is what is happening in Brother Deodat Aliganira's camp. I don't know what you make of this news but of course the comment section is right there for you. Uh, in other news, Bobby Wine has opened up about the unfortunate reports made by NBS TV's journalist that is Daniel Lutaya and Benson Ongom. Now, yesterday, uh, they published a story indicating that Bobby Wine was humiliated with his team in Omoro at Jacob Olanya's place where they had gone to condole with Musei Nathan Lokori. Now, according to NBS, Bobby Wine and his team were told to switch off their gadgets. They were also told to park 200 meters away from the main house. And they also said that Musei Nathan Lokori rejected the money and they got Bobby Wine presented to him as a gift. However, Bobby Wine has said, historically, every system has had apologists. Talk about Apethide, talk about Nazi, Stalin, all these systems have had apologists historically. Bobby Wine says, don't be surprised when you see such people in this President Museveni's system pretending to be journalists, others pretending to be artists, others, you know, pretending very, very many things. 
Yes, so that is Bobby Wine uh, right there for you. I don't know what NBS or these journalists have to say about Bobby Wine's response to them, but I'll keep you posted in case, you know, they comment anything on this matter. Yes, so that is the latest news I have on the Buzz UG this morning. I hope you are doing very fine. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.